Welcome to the video lecture on the examples of periodic and aperiodic signals. In this video, we'll consider a discrete time signal x of n is equal to minus 1 to the power n. So the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not? If periodic, what is the fundamental period? So now if I'll write x of n again, I'll rewrite it. If n is even, x of n turns out to be 1. And if n is odd, x of n turns out to be minus 1. So we can cross check it. If n is even, so we can put minus 1 to the power 2, minus 1 to the power 4 and so on. In, in those cases, it turns out to be 1. If n is odd, say for example, minus 1 to the power 1, minus 1 to the power 3, minus 1 to the power 5 and so on, it turns out to be minus 1. So for these things, let me draw the signal x of n. So I'll draw x and y axis. So x axis represents time n and y axis represents the signal x of n. I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4 and on to negative axis minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. If n is, so first I'll consider n equals to 0. So minus 1 to the power 0 is 1. So if n is odd, it is x of n is minus 1. If n is even, n equals to 2, it is 1. For n equals to 3, it is minus 1. n equals to 4, it is 1 and so on. For n equals to minus 1, it is minus 1. For n equals to minus 2, it is 1. For n equals to minus 3, the signal is minus 1 and so on. So if you look at this signal, there is clearly a pattern and it keeps repeating. So for these things, I can say that, say that the given signal is periodic. So the period is, this is the period for n equals to 2 seconds. So n is equals to 2 seconds. So after 2 seconds, the signal keeps repeating. So I can clearly say that the given signal is periodic with the fundamental period n equals to 2 seconds.